Good day guys, this is Practifile again and uh, today we're gonna unbox and uh, do some graphing with Aha, the KZ D5 Okay, I got the uh, non-tunable version Of course, I was asked if I wanted, you know, I was given a choice, which ones? But I've noticed that none of the reviewers have actually chosen the non-tunable version because for some reason, of course, the tunable version is a very tempting option but I opted to get this one because so that I can compare it with the tunable one I am able to try the tunable version when we do some wheat ups with with a friend so I'm gonna compare that but for now I want to thank KZ uh, for sending this over really big thanks for that um, it's been a long time since I got KZ set to review the last one was the ZNA which is up for a giveaway by the way check my description uh, check check the link on my description there's a discord server there and the links are on my discord so yeah let's not take it long it's a usual KZ box this unboxing is gonna be really really short I have unboxed quite a lot so this is it all right you got this tiny gun metal sh very shiny wow very shiny okay and it comes with foam tips by the way all right comes with foam tips and the gun metal color reminded me of the Richu Richu sg01 and other tips okay there are other tips wow they have have they changed their ear tips i feel like they've changed their ear tips and the ear tips that we have here are Ah, the spirals. Okay, I have these. I have these from the ZNAs. So this one's red this time. And some whiteboard tips. Eh, these whiteboard tips are very similar. Seems like it's from the one that came with the gimlet. Cable, of course. KZ standard light clear cables. Oh yeah, you see that? Very nice. So let's attach this. Wow, very solid build actually. Like for how much are these? 20? 20 bucks non tunable. Let me search that. It, it should be cheap though. It should be like, I don't know, like $15 or something. Because the tunable one is more expensive. I, I don't know what, what, how it would graph. So that's why I would graph this one today. Um, but for now, let's, let's, let's see how they fit. Hazy as they are. They're very known for good fitting. Very flush in my ears. Very comfortable. <laughs> Very premium feel as well. So, let's give it a listen. Okay, let's start with Unwell by Matchbox 20. Wow. 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 <laughs> Dude. Okay. I'm... Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. This is... No. Dude. Should I stop? Should I stop? Should I talk? Like... Oh, uh, okay. Let's, 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 let's play, playing God first. This is... Okay, I wanna hear instruments, Timber. First track, Unwell, was unbelievably good for this price. Okay. So far, the stage is very spacious. Instruments, harmonics... Oh, yes. It's been a long time since I've had this feeling. Man, like... Oh. Uh, oh. Oh my god, I don't know, it's, I don't know, like, I'm feeling it's an, it's, it's gonna be an S. It's gonna replace a lot of my recommendations in the budget. Man, like, the tonality is, I'd say, balanced, depending on the ear tips. So I'm thinking it's because of probably the foam tips, so I'm getting, like, very good bass presence and tamer treble. This is crazy, the tonality is like that, and what caught me is the center imaging. And like every instruments are just placed so well. The stage is so grand. It's so open and the tuning is very smooth. From the bass, you get very linear bass, very decent gain, and very smooth treble. Oh my god. Like I'm not... You call me a shill until you try. I don't know if this is better than the uh, non-tunable, uh, the, the tunable version. 
I I'm predicting this is better than the uh, <laughs> tenable version. Okay, let's check other tracks under my umbrella. Oh my god, like KZ is, let me pause, KZ is proving that Tex is tuning. <laughs> And of course, KZ is also developing their kind of like their they're doing some research and there's a bell network and whatever. KZ is a perfect example of a company that failed the uh, public, apologized, stood up, and here we are. What can I say, man? This better than Ling Long. Ling Long was like Ling Long was very nicely tuned, but what can I say? Like, I'm gonna post my review on that, but I think I'm gonna post a video of this first. Dude, the stage thing. Alright, let's check treble. High Spring Bye by IU. Um, it, it doesn't have a lot of upper treble, so mainly there's a lot of emphasis in like low treble to upper mids. That's why instruments sound very realistic too. No man, this is not KZ. Oh my god. <laughs> It's so good. Oh, okay, here without you. Let's try here without you for the male vocals. Yeah, male vocals could use a bit of warmth, but damn, that space, man, and center imaging is just. Oh my god, it gives an illusion that I'm in front of the singer. That's that's for me. That's for my HRT. Uh, I don't know for you. It's the best case you have heard. Tuning and text. As of the moment, I can't find any faults, really. Like, man. Like, let's try to get lucky. Let's check the bass one last time. Like, oh my god, look how fast that is. Linear. I like linear bass, though. Like, the balance on sub bass and mid bass is just enough. It's so open mids. Everything is so open. I'm gonna pause. It's taking me too long. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna graph this one. Just to check for channel matching and, um, you know, if there are any... Just to check the overall signature and I'm gonna compare it with other graphs and see what kind of what kind of tuning this one compares, okay? I hate finding the 8KP, you know, just... Time consuming. There we go. Okay, I got it. And then this time, I'll check the left. That graph is really good, actually. Left side now. Hey, keep it please. Okay. And checking for both. Look at that channel matching. Yeah. As usual, Daisies are known for their channel matching. Very good channel balance, actually. Right, so uh, I've completed the graph, and this is the graph right here. And if you can see, there's some elevation in the base, but um, I know maybe I have to. There's something wrong with my rig. It's I don't know, like it graphs higher in base recently for some reason. I don't know why. The maids seem to be correct. There's a little bit of energy uh, in the treble and the upper mids as well, and then just smooth extension all throughout. What can I say? It's a for me, this is a really good graph actually, and they sound good as well. So let's score this one here. Oh man, like tonality for me, it's a 3 actually. It's not offensive, everything was just enough. Bass, bass was like, bass was fine. Maybe 2.5. Mids is, mids are good, instruments sounded good. 3. Treble, it could use a little bit of extension, just a little bit, but it's smooth. Maybe 2.5. And text, man, like overall resolution stage imaging. Yeah, it's 14. It's an S. Congratulations, KZ, for... You know, this is my new benchmark in the budget. At least on the ones that I've tried. This, repl this replaces the Warner. Oh, by the way, I also... <laughs> I am giving away my Warner, so please do check on my Discord channel. This is better than um, Tin Hi-Fi C2 Warrior. I know, like for some reason, this is also better than than the PR1 Pro. This can compete in the hundred dollars category. You know, it's like like I, I I can listen to this and 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 the Galileo. That's it, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching my video. Like. 
and subscribe if you want. Join my Discord channel. Let's talk there. Peace out. I'm out. Bye-bye.